Okay. Now uh, messages are recorded. Okay. In this lecture, we will find uh, we will see electric fields and charges. Okay. So any charge will create uh, the electric field. Okay. Uh, suppose that uh, we have a positive charge plus Q. It creates electric field. And the electric field is away uh, from the charge. So electric field is more fundamental. Okay. So this is the electric field. So whenever there is an electric field, it means that uh, this uh, fills all the space, as you see. And the electric field magnitude is given by K Q over R square. As you see, the electric field is related to the charge that is produced from. Okay. So the charge that produces electric field is to be placed on the top and the distance is uh, R. So any distance from a point P, for instance, uh, R uh, is the distance from the positive charge or the charge which creates the electric field to the point P. So in this case, the electric field at this point P will be this way. Okay. And of course, if you just draw a circle, the electric field magnitude will be the same everywhere, except the direction will change, okay, like that. So the direction will change, but the amount of the electric field will be given by exactly this equation, okay? So now, this K is a constant, 9 times 10 to the 9, okay, uh, Newtons, okay? So let's let's see the, uh, uh, the unit of this, okay? This is uh, the, the unit of electric field is Newtons per Coulomb. Okay, Newtons per Coulomb. So Newtons, Coulomb square, because there is another Coulomb, okay, Coulomb and Coulomb, Coulomb square divided by meter square. So this K. Where, why do we have this? Okay, first of all, you remember that uh, if you put, uh, let's put a charge there, okay, small charge. Let's, let's put a small charge Q. Okay, say this is also plus. Plus pushes plus so that the force direction is going to be this way. So this is force, the red is force, but the blue is the electric field. As you see, in this case, electric field and the force in the same direction because both of these charges are positive. But if you put a negative charge, say here, minus Q, small q, okay? So now here, Electric field direction will be this way, as before, okay? So this electric field direction, exactly the same amount. Why? Because the electric field is created by capital Q, not small q. So you cannot change this. But you're, what you're doing is bringing a negative charge, but now the force on the negative charge will be in opposite direction in this case. So as you see, this now, the force for this charge will be towards this one. So now they attract each other, as you see, plus and minus, they attract each other. The force is this way. And here, the, this repelling force, the force is away. So that now we have to, now we learn that the force is somehow related to both electric field and also the charge that you put here. If you put Q, Q1, Q2, Q3, the force will be changing depending on it. So the relationship between the force and the electric field is given by this expression. F e equals Q e. Okay. So now if you multiply the electric field by the small Q, then uh, it will be force and the result will be Newton. So it, the force can be written now just like this electric field K times Q capital Q divided by R square. Okay. So the force and the unit of force is Newton's. Okay. Newton. This is force. It's it's the, it's the Coulomb force that you learned from high school, okay? Coulomb's force. K is a constant, as you see. Now, uh, actually, uh, by looking at this unit in physics, the units are extremely important because the units actually gives you the equation. Without the unit, uh, you don't have any anything available. Uh, even the unit systems uh, change in physics, but we use the MKS system uh, in whole Europe. Okay, uh, and America also is getting into MKS system. Uh, it means that meters, kilogram, and second are uh, the 
units that we are using, not the pounds or uh, uh, inches uh, and things like that, or feet or something we don't use, but we use meter. Okay, so uh, Coulomb force is given uh, by this, and electric field is uh, given by that. So electric field depends on the charge it, it, it is produced from, and also the force uh, is related to also whatever the charge you place in the electric field. Of course, we will see that the electric field not necessarily is created by a point charge, but from some kind of surfaces also. So if, if there is an electric field, some direction, it can also be curved, okay? And if you place, pl place a charge, okay, say this is plus charge, then electric field is this way, and we know that the force will be also this way, and if you just release this uh, charge, it will move from this point on like that, okay? So the force will be given in this direction. But if you put a minus uh, charge, it will be in the direction, okay? So this is something that uh, we will remember, okay? And now uh, let's go into some examples, okay? Some examples, some numerical examples, okay? So now we have, uh, we have, we have two uh, charges. One is plus 50 microcoulomb and one microcoulomb. Now, this has more charges, you see. Probably the sizes may, may be the same, and there are 50 times more electrons, uh, less electrons here and more electrons there. Okay? So these are the charges from both positive charges. Okay? Plus 50 and plus one microcoulomb. Now, what about the force between them? Since this is plus and plus, they will push themselves away. Repelling force, F. This is F12. Say this is number one, Q1, and this is Q2. This is Q1, Q2. And this will be F12. And this will be F21. Although they are in opposite directions, one is in positive x direction, the other is negative x direction. They are the same, okay? So F12 will be equal to F21. Although the charges may be the same, uh, the different, okay, not necessarily the same, the forces will be exactly the same, okay? So it doesn't matter what kind of uh, charges they carry. For instance, where does this F12 come from? It come from the electric field that is produced by this 50 microcoulomb, okay? And the electric field that is produced from 50 microcoulomb is this way, okay? And that way, that way, right? If you just draw a circle, you will see. So the electric field due to this uh, 50 microcoulomb. What about the electric field at this point due to Q2? Of course, it is also this direction, okay? Electric field. As you see, electric fields and forces are in the same direction in this case because both of the forces are positive, okay? So now, uh, if the distance between them is given as L, then the force uh, 1, 2, or force 2, 1, which are equal to each other, will be given by K, uh, Q1, Q2 divided by R square. So this is the immersed square law. So if you draw the force as a function of uh, distance, you will see that it's immersed square law uh, dependence. So we just say that this is related to 1 over R square. In, in physics, we will see uh, immersed law, not the square law. For instance, the potential will be changing by 1 over R. In this case, 1 over R is uh, uh, drawn by a less, okay, slower uh, function like that. It's 1 over R dependence. But sometimes there are some dipoles and uh, there are some effects that reduce by 1 over R cube. In this case, we have this dependence. So this is 1 over R cube dependence. As you see, as the power of the uh, denominator increases, the reduction or uh, the, okay, reduction is quicker. For instance, at the same distance, at the same distance, say this is the distance from this point, uh, this is, uh, this 1 over R is greater than 1 over R squared and 1 over r squared is greater than 1 over r cubed. So this is smaller. So it, we say that this 1 over r squared drops faster than 1 over r, okay? So always keep this in mind. So we have immersed square law 
and not only with these charges but with many things in physics we have this kind of law everywhere okay good so uh, the, these are the uh, distinctions between the electric field and the forces but now let's uh, put uh, two charges say that one is uh, minus uh, in x direction one is minus eight microcoulomb the other is three microcoulombs plus three microcoulomb and the other is minus four microcoulomb q1 q1 q2 q3 as you see q1 and q3 are negative but q2 is positive and they are separated by a distance uh, given by this one is 0.3 meters everything is in given in meters and the distance between q2 and q3 is 0.2 meters okay 0.2 meters good so uh, these are uh, given now the question is that three charged particles are arranged like that calculate the net electrostatic force on particle three this q3 okay what is that what is the force on q3 f3 what is it okay before finding and all, before finding uh, f3 let's also find e3 okay how can you find e3 if because if you if you can find uh, e3 then f3 is q3 times e3 okay so we just get the electric field okay due to these two other these two charges and then multiply by uh, the charge which is negative of course uh, the direction will change because q3 is negative then we will be able to find f3 but either we do this first find uh, electric field and then uh, force or just directly use Coulomb's law just f3 is equal to k okay k uh, now because uh, we we have to be able to find out the directions of these forces because force is a vectorial quantity we cannot really just add them up so how do we do this okay so how do we do that how do, do we calculate f3 first uh, find uh, out the direction uh, at this point say this is the point now uh, where q3 is located okay now uh, look at this minus sign the electric field uh, is to the left for this one so let's draw the electric field like that so also we can consider the electric field or just the charges together now look at that minus this is minus charge the effect of q1 is such that q3 is also minus so they will push each other right they will repel each other so that the electric the force due to this q1 will be in this direction because now this q1 will push q3 in this direction so this is f1 so this is the direction of the force okay to the right so this is our x direction again what about f2 as you see this is plus now this is plus and this is minus it will attract so this charge will attract uh, the other charge okay so uh, now we will have we will have attraction force so that f2 will be in this way f2 we don't know how big these vectors are okay f2 will be this way so now if you want to get net uh, electrostatic force or clone force we have to get them uh, one by one and then see which one is greater and then the di direction can be determined okay now let's find uh, these uh, these forces let f f f uh, one okay f one f one is with uh, we have eight micro coulomb okay eight micro coulomb and three micro coulomb so this is f1 so this is k uh, which is nine times ten to the nine times four times ten to the minus six okay times eight times ten to the minus six divided by the distance square so what is the distance from q1 to q3 obviously it's 0.5 meters so 0.5 squared so the result if you get this result is just 1.2 newton okay f1 is this f2 is 9 times 10 to the 9 times 4 again because this is the char uh, charge that we have 4 times 10 to the minus 6 times now 3 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 
the distance square, but the distance is just 0.2 meters. Okay, so it's just 0.2 square. So if you get this, you will see this is 2.7 Newton. So which one is greater? As you see, F2 is greater. So it means that uh, the length of these vectors are such that uh, this is uh, more than twice, actually. So uh, like that. So F1 is smaller than F2. So net electric force, electrostatic force will be to the left. So this, okay? So this F net. So F net will be equal to, okay? F net will be equal to 2.7 minus 1.2 what is that? 1.5, 1.5i with a minus sign. Okay. As you see, this is vector now. Because this positive x direction, it's a negative x direction. That's why there is a minus sign. And i shows you the unit vector in x direction. So f net will be in this uh, case, in this direction. So f net. Now, what about the electric field? As you see, if the from this one. From negative eight, uh, electric field is this way, okay? For this, electric field is that way. So this is uh, E2 and this is E1. And as you see, electric field is to the left, force one is to the right. Electric field two is to the right, but force two is to the left. Why? Because this charge is minus. So directions of the forces just is reversed, okay? So you can easily find also the electric fields uh, if you don't have these, uh, these this multiple, okay, this, if you just remove these ones, uh, these uh, expressions just become E1 and E2, you can, you can find, okay? So they will have, they will have exactly the same uh, dependence as the force. Okay, this is the end of uh, number one. <clears throat> Now we stop, stop.